Hey guys, what's up? Luis here again with episode 15 of the top 5 Cedia Tweaks of the Week. And today I have a cool lock screen theme for you guys and it's called Ellis Sand. It looks very nice with this high quality wallpaper and also the minimalistic design and the slider and clock both at the bottom of the screen. You guys should definitely check it out but without any further ado, let's get started with the best tweaks of the week. Coming in at number 5 is the Tweaks Much. It's a very very simple tweak but it makes the multitasking feature a little bit better. When I double tap my home button you'll notice there's a new blurred background and now the icons in multitasking mode are standing out from the rest. It just provides a better feeling when you're managing your apps and it looks very very nice. Moving on to number 4 is a tweak face off. Now this one is actually a very interesting one and you guys may be able to figure it out from the title but here in the settings we have the option to enable it, control the sensitivity and a bunch of other controls you guys can check out. So basically what this tweak does is activates a sensor on the front facing camera so that when the phone is facing down, therefore blocking the camera, the sensor recognizes this and shuts the screen off automatically and when you put the phone facing up it brings the screen back to normal. Coming in at number 3 we have the tweak call reminders which will allow you to call anyone from your contacts from the reminders application which is a very cool feature. All you have to do is type in the name of the contact in quotation marks and it will give you the ability to call mobile, home or whatever kind of phone you have it set up and I guarantee it works 100% a very very cool feature. Next up is the tweak subtle lock. Basically it changes completely how your lock screen looks, it makes everything look a lot more simple by aligning the time with the date and pushing the slider down to the bottom. It looks a lot better than the original one in my opinion and you guys should definitely check it out. And the last tweak for this episode is now playing on status bar, pretty self explanatory. Ok so we're gonna go ahead and play a song here from my music library and I'm gonna choose weapon by Kazette and you may be able to notice how the status bar will start alternating with the name of the song, the artist and the time. One of the most useful tweaks out there and you guys should definitely give it a try. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did, don't forget to click the like button down below, it helps me out a lot. And if you would like to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes, feel free to do so. Either way, thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next one.